Yo, what is going on guys? It is Childish again. Today I'm basically just going to be showing you um, some of my favorite items in the game. And uh, some of these are IOD'd. And if anything, um, you want to see some armors that you might like or items that you want to IODA. Um, this is just going to be a quick video for that. I'm pretty bored, so I'm just going to shoot this out. Um, obviously, we got to start with some basic meta ones. You know, uh, basically Arctic Dragon Slayer. It is just a fully customizable badass armor. Um, one thing I don't have would be the helm for this. The Arctic Slayer helm is the same thing. It's a cool helm. I have the black one. I'll show you later. But it's just a fully CC kind of old style like plate armor. Yeah. Um, next we have the Black Blood Fiend. Um, the original one is even nicer. Um, I didn't. Uh, I don't have it though. But basically, I can do this with the uh, Dark Guys of Nulgath, which I have because I got it all from the same shop. And boom, there you go. I like black. It's my favorite color. So that would be two, three. Obviously, is blazing. Um, I think blazing is just one of the coolest. It goes with so many weapons I have, especially this new sword right here that came out. That is pretty sick. Um, it's just one of those OG armors. Um, then we have Blood of Nulgath, the original. Um, this is my favorite armor in the entire game. I generally always rock this armor. Um, next, obviously, it's classic Alpha Pirate. Um, this isn't really rare anymore, but I see the appeal to it. It's, it's just, for me, it's not even, I don't even think it's the best naval. I think it's just because back in the day, you know, um, you had to be an OG to get this armor, and obviously I IODA'd it, um, but I don't even think it's the best. It just brings back nostalgic memories for me, so. Um, next, as you probably can assume, we have Dark Caster. Um, I don't wear this armor a lot because I don't have the right like, hairstyle I want for it to make it look clean, um, but this is definitely hands down another one of my favorite armors. I remember when this came out, I just didn't have the ACs to buy it. Um, so that's why I got it. It really pissed me off. Um, yeah. So we have this from the Wheel of Doom. I would have gotten this regardless, even if it was on the Wheel of Doom. But the Celestial Sand Knight Helm um, is just, this whole set is just absolutely sick. Um, the kind of glowing color right here is accessory. Uh, let me just go back to fucking my room right here. As you can see, this is all accessory custom. You can get some really bold colors right there. It's just a badass set. Um, yeah. Obviously, anything I get from the Doom. Obviously, the Doom Naval Commander. Again, it's just clean. Red is one of my favorite colors. Um, here's one people might not know know of you get it from the wheel of doom but i really love it the composer armor um fully cc set as well then of course you can get the rotting naval commander obviously naval commanders just hold a place in my heart um, i think it does for a lot of players in adventure quest then last thing from the wheel of doom that you can get is the doom toga um, this goes really well with some uh, stuff i have where would it be like the life giver axe um, this is from the second ever Quibble Rare Shop. I think it just goes well. I think it fits the aesthetic. Stuff like that. Um, for armors, we've got that. And then I have Dragon Slayer Solus. Um, again, another fully CC armor that you can just do a lot with, right? Um, throw this on. And then, boom. You can throw like Archfiend Cloak on this. Grimward Blade. Things like that that we'll get into. Um later so yeah i'm trying to make this video pretty pretty uh smooth so obviously the uh evolved blood fiend and hex but the blood itself is just absolutely badass especially with the guard i mean look at that i prefer the old blood of nulgas style it's just simpler i like it better but you know that's sick and that goes for the fiend the hex um and the void i don't wear but Next is Fallen. I think, if I'm correct, this is the only one that like doesn't have like a undershirt on it. Looks really good. Um, 
Fiendish Doom Knight. I believe some of these are rare, or a lot of these are rare, but if you want to IODA them, uh, again, fully customizable. Um, you can basically put any kind of Nolgath helm on that, and fits the aesthetic. Next, I have a formal Dark Caster, which I did get, and I have some canes, you know, that I can put on it to make it look good. This is just if I'm feeling classy, you know. Um, stuff like that, so we go down, let's get this over with. Um, I don't have the original Golden Fiend armor. I don't remember if when they re-release this, if I'm pretty sure it's a re-release. Um, but I have the whole set. It's just, dude, this thing is just badass. Look at it. Um, next, we have nothing special but the Ironhide plate. This is just one of the armors that's been in the game for a long, long time, I think, since the start. You buy it for ACs, but I mean, it's just, it's just a clean armor. It's like one of those old style, just looks good. Um, next, we have the Legacy of Nolgath. Obviously, it's Nolgath. I'm going to get it. I like it. But it's fully customizable, stuff like that. Next, we have Legion Jolly Roger, which is just, I mean, sick. I love this design. As you can see, I have the Nation Jolly Roger too. I also have the Void one of these. Um, next would be Necrotic. This this isn't my highest rated, but because um, the shoulders, I think they're too out too much. Um, but again, amazing armor. Neon Sage. Um, this was in a Cyber Monday shop not too long ago. But I have the sword for this. I put on the Shadow Vestige of Nolgath. And, uh, or Shadow Guard, my mistake. You know, throw on a cool cape with the weapon. It just looks sick. Absolutely sick. Um, we have the Void Rider, which I believe was rare. Came out a while ago. I don't know if you can still get this. I think it was like an LQS shop. Um, yeah, this is just class right here. I love it. Um, let's see. Plate of the Fallen. Again, um, I've actually been getting into, like, bigger armors, bulkier armors. Um, so this is a fully customizable. Even this, like, stuff right here is eye customizable. All this shit. It's just sick. Um, next, I don't have the original, which I don't mind, but I have the Royal. Um, which is, like, this black, gray, and purple. I like it better than the original. Um, next, Seven Seas. Again, classic. Just blue. Pretty classic. Um, just simple, and I like it. Shadow Hex. I have some of the shadow stuff of Nogat, but this is the original armor design. It's just gray. Again, I think it looks very amazing. Um, next, we have the Shadow Vordred armor. Again, throw on some black stuff with this. You look like absolutely demonic um the shadow eater assassin this was an L, uh, upgrade shop that you can get um i think it just looks clean i've got some helms and stuff that go with it um next is the shadow cage um if you don't know where this is from this is if you've bought a million acs in your account lifetime um they've got a bunch of cool stuff in there and then obviously we have skyguard commander um, i don't know if this is rare I don't see a lot of people with it, but I've had it for a long time. It's just clean. It goes with a lot of stuff. Um, Void Warlock, you get from having the Enchanted Nation Nogath House. Um, again, all of it is damage boosting. I think they changed this. So I don't think the cape... It used to all do 45%. Yeah, I think they lowered the amount it does. But, um, let me see. Yeah, because this only does 40% now. Every piece of armor used to do 45%. Um, so, that kind of sucks. Helms, we're going to move on. Black Legion Vampire. Um, again, I don't really like the original one, but it's black and gray. How can I not like it? Um, Crystal Gaze plus Locks. I know this is a female helm, but I love rocking it. It's just so nice. Uh, this is what I was talking about, the Dragon Slayer helm that normally goes with Arctic Dragon Slayer. This is the uh, Black Friday version, but basically the, all this would be color customizable. Um, we have the Deathwalker hood. The eyes are customizable. Um, stuff like that. We have the EC Max 6 scarf. Jesus. Um, yeah, basically it's just a clean looking little scarf. Um, can't really find stuff to go with it. Uh, the Starwalker, I believe this was an upgrade set. I only used the helm. 
Um, if you're a female, I have a female armor that I wear sometimes, so the Fear Eater Morph. This actually just came out with Friday the 13th. I believe you can go get it. I believe it's in the shop. The featured gear shop, yeah. Um, next, we have a Frost Vampire Morph. Again, I just like the eyes, the hair, everything. Um, I don't wear it a lot, but the Helm of Brutal Annihilation... I think you just get this from the Legion. It's just such a sick helm. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But the Scientist Helm. Um, I have the armor to go with this and everything. But I don't really like it. I just love the mask and the hair. Color customizable besides the mask. Next we have... Uh, ooh, we got a lot. Mystical Warrior Coif. Uh, I don't really need to explain this. The hair is sick. With the little uh, thing around your neck. Um, Obsidian Elven Walks, clean, just looks good. I love the smile, the evil smile. Then we have Oni's Visage, visage. Um, color customizable face right here. I think it's just clean. And we have to show off the OG Ranger hat. This, it, it's sick. What, what more do you want me to say? Um, the Sage Enchanted Walks with the blindfold. Just sick. Again, Shadow Guard of Nulgath. I use this for basically everything. Um, Shadow Drow Helm. Again, look at this. The hair with the elf ear and the big ass scarf, as you can see. I have it. This is from the Amelian AC package. You can change the color of one eye. Cool. Gives an anime look. I don't watch anime, but. Uh, the Skull of Nulgath. I know this is rare, but I think it's just absolutely sick. Um, if you have this unlocked, the uh, Time Shop, I basically use the Chronomancer hair, stuff like that. The Troll Sock Helm, I don't remember when this came out, but it was, it was goaded. Everyone had this. Um, and then, of course, the Worshipper Face. We'll do some weapons real quick. Um, Champion Blade, have to put it in there. Conscious Consciousness Blade of Nolgath. I don't even know where I got this. I don't know if it's rare, but I love it. Um, yeah, Corrupted Dragon Slayer is another one. I don't know if this is rare. I don't think it is. I think it's just a low drop rate. But you can color customize this right here where the red is. And then it's just a badass blade. Um, again, from the Wheel of Doom, the original Soul Ripper. Absolutely astonishing. Looks amazing, that old art style. First katana, I think this was like a limited shop or s featured gear, something like that. Next, we have the Golden Blade of Sanctity. Um, I have the Cyber version of this one too, so I would trade these out, but I mean, it just looks clean. You put that on like a Plate of the Fallen or a cust color customizable armor, it's sick. Um, probably my favorite one, Grim Lord, fully CC, um, just so clean. Um, let's see. This is going to be up there. One of these new swords that just came out on Friday the 13th. This thing is sick. The artwork's sick. It's huge. I love it. Um, unpopular opinion. Safaria's Temper. You get this from the Safaria map for, like, having, like, rank, like, 5 vampire. You can color customize where this blue is. It, dude. It's sick. Like... I think it's the, one of the most underrated swords. Um, Sin of Revenus. Um, obviously, you get this. You can. It's not the empowered version. You just get this from killing Nulgath once. Uh, Vilifier. You know, came out on the second global shop ever. Just classic. I wish I had the original, but the Black Wicked. Obviously, it's just the Wicked. Black version. Um, let's see. The Wooden Doom Blade is probably my like biggest like role. Um, I don't even remember where this is from. I know it's rare, but it's, come on. Um, I'm going to click this up. Blood Letters, of course. Customizable. Everyone knows what those are. Um, dual Shadow Spear and Shadow Spear. I'm just going to count them as one. Clean. Classic. Looks amazing. Um, Shadow Orbs of Nulgath. Again, I don't have the original, but I like black better. Um, I have animations off just because my laptop's a piece of shit. So, boom, cover customizable, stuff like that. Then we have the Twin Blades. Again, I don't know where these are from. 
Um, I just think they, they look nice or simple. Again, we have the Omega M19. This was, I know for a fact, limited. I think like only 300 of these sets were sold. Fortunately, I got the whole set. Kind of sick. Duality mug. Um, any mug in general. I also have the gravity defying one, which is kind of like seasonal, but it's like the original. Um, boom, boom, boom. Not that. Cyber spear. I mean, you can obviously guess why it's the shadow spear, but reverse. And then let's see, prismatic havoc scythe. If you have this upgrade set, um, use this weapon, dude. It's fully custom color customizable besides uh, the bones right here absolutely sick sight to sorrow um, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion you get this if you open enough treasure chest and you got like the dark box and dark key there's a quest you can do and this is like one of the items you can get soul harvester spear classic you know um, not much to say about that and then uh, Void Avenger Scythe. Uh, I think this is, if I remember, it was kind of a hard farm. But, you know, look at it. It doesn't go with a lot of stuff because it's red with purple, you know. But it's sick regardless. Quick, we'll go over capes. Archfiend Cloak, have to put it in there. Um, the Aura of the Shadow Scythe. Again, it's just super clean. Butcher Back Blades. Super simple. Color customizable orbs and, like, finish. Um, the sh cyber and um, dark guardian you get the, you can get the cyber from getting dark guardian um, obviously the enchant internal flame is probably my favorite favorite internal flame because it's color customizable but as you can see I have a bunch um, let's see yeah timekeeper same thing you get this from uh, one of the time walk shops it's just I think it's cool as hell and yeah, I don't use a lot of capes. Um, yeah, and then Werepire wings. I think everyone has these now, but they were super cool. Um, yeah, and guys, thank you so much. That's going to be it from me. Y'all have a great day.